everyone. Welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya, and I'm addicted to jewelry and some other little cool vintage things. Um, these are opera glasses, and I found these at that uh, little estate sale thingy that I told you. It wasn't an estate sale. It was at the Fig Gardens Women's Club. And these are pretty amazing. You know, it was a whole, there was like 20 people in line in front of me. And yeah, by the time I got in there, there was a large jewelry section, but there's like vultures. It was wild. It was wild. I just grabbed what I could. Um, this, I, I had to have it because it's super cute. And reminds me of a little robot man um, those are like pearls and stones lapis maybe some turquoise or something um, I'm sh pretty sure it's silver and brass or copper or whatever or a little combo of all three uh, it's not signed it's an artisan piece it's pretty neat I'm gonna test it make sure um, I picked up these and Klein earrings because I just had that really cool Anne Klein necklace and yeah why not um, I didn't test these yet but I have a feeling that these are silver because I had one just like this recently a pendant that I sold and it was silver and the ear wire actually this almost look like a gold tone in here uh, when I picked them up I thought they were pretty much gold tone I mean silver tone um, this guy He's amazing. He's pretty incredible. He's a signed piece and well put together. Um, yeah, whatever that says. I mean, can't really see it. Let's see, what does it say? Um, it's a copyright, E. Pearl. E. Pearl. Um, these were tarnished just right, uh, and I thought, well, they're probably silver or like dirty 10 karat gold. Um, I'm still not sure. I'm still up in the air about those. I ran out of 14K acid, so um, there is that, yeah. Uh, these, I don't, these are uh, 14 karat gold. I may have showed you these. This I just found on my desk, um, and I guess I had forgotten about them. Um, I probably got these like last week or something. Um, but they're 10 karat gold and would appear to be amethyst. Um, this is a beautiful brooch, uh, not signed. But very pretty. I have my window open. I'm in my art studio. Oh, someone asked in the comment, who's Pat? <laughs> I have a whole bunch of new subscribers. And for those of you who are new here, thank you for coming over. Pat is a good friend of mine who, um, he's an older gentleman. Um, and he uh, has been doing jewelry for... 30 plus years, I think he said, 40 years. <coughs> His wife passed away a couple of years ago and, <coughs> excuse me, he and I have just become um, kind of like partners in crime. He doesn't have an outlet for a lot of things and uh, yeah, he, he brings over some fabulous jewelry when I ask him to. Uh, this was a whole set. Uh, it's got the stick pin, the brooch, and the earrings, and I wish the rest of it was there. Uh, this is all Sarah Coventry. Pretty nice little haul. So yeah, Pat brings me jewelry. I can call, He usually brings it once or twice a week. Um, yeah, he shares a lot of jewelry with me. Not, I mean, I purchase it from him. Uh, this is vintage Monet, and I just thought this was really nice. I liked this a lot. It was in excellent shape. Very long. Could be doubled over. 
Very nice vintage Monet. This is a rose gold um, tennis bracelet. It's made to look like there's pave set stones in there, and there isn't. Um, it has sterling silver um, and a rose gold. It's got a really nice closure with the double safeties. Um, did I show you these? Sterling silver and coral, vintage, cute little earrings. Um, these are called featherweight, and they're pretty nice. I liked them. Oh, I just saw there's one little missing stone there. Bummer. I'm sure I could fix that. What else did I get? What else did I get? Um, this one here. This was at, yeah, this was at the sale. Uh, I just told you about Robert uh, D. Mario, New York City. Robert D. Mario, New York City. And it's got those haskily looking pearls. Graduated. Nice, nice little. I like the clasp and the closure and the fact that it was signed. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I you know. I can't keep track of it all. There's there's just way too many designers. Um this was like I don't know. This was a dollar. I just realized, though, it is probably broken and missing a piece, but great crafter item. Oh, everything is not focusing like it should. <clears throat> okay. A couple of great finds there. Um, and I'm surprised I was able to pick these up. Um, that one's stamped at the bottom there, so more than likely made in Poland. Uh, this one, sterling silver and what I believe to be amethyst. Why is nothing focusing? It's focusing up on that head over there. <laughs> That's a nice ring. Um, this one I thought I'd take a risk. It was $1. Um, it's like gold-plated, whatever. It was, I was willing to take the risk. Now this one... Um, this one is testing as, it's either 12 or 10 karat gold. It's um, very tarnished. It's got that right kind of tarnishy look to it. I thought it was maybe silver, but it's not testing silver. Uh, it's holding the 10K just right. I'm out of 14K. I'm pretty sure it's probably... I'm saying maybe 12 carat, um, 10 to 12 carat. Uh, pretty nice ring. And, oh, and this. And I haven't gone through this yet. Uh, this was $15. I went back. She said, she. there was some guy there. I kid you not. His bill, he, he went before me uh, in the checkout. And they were making you pay for the jewelry right there in the jewelry section. Uh, they had it kind of sectioned off a little bit. This guy's bill was $2,500. He grabbed all of this gold stuff that I, it was gone before I even got to it. There was like nothing left. Um, and with that, I'm going to go down. Down. Let's see what's in here. Anyway, she, she told me that she had, um, she was going to be having uh, several more of these that I should come back um, at 11 and yeah the one guy he had bought two of them and I asked is there more and she said I'll be putting more together um, it doesn't look very promising but it did go back and she did put it together for me so I went and oh that's very nice it's just uh, it's got like makeup or build up on it you know makeup and perfumes and probably hairspray if you can see that um, it's a nice piece and it definitely needs to be cleaned big time uh, it's not signed anywhere uh, but it's a nice piece it's well made um, nicely made actually so 
as it turns out, uh, they are, um, well, I don't know what that's for. <laughs> they, they will be putting new jewelry up tomorrow and yeah, she told me to come back. Um, yeah, so I will, I will be going back. Uh, this is nice. This is not signed. Black enamel and gold. This one is a signed piece. Oh, I didn't even show you the watch. Uh, Park Lane. Just a little enamel thing. We've got some lovely button covers of lighthouses. <laughs> um, oh, a little apple. That's cute. Little apple stick pin. Uh, this is marked $2. They had it separate from everything else because they didn't want it to get tangled. I get that. Um, it's just strung on a like silver cord or string, um, but it's little black faceted stones. Um, not sure. Probably onyx or something like that. Um, this is cool. Interesting. It almost looks like, kind of like silver. Kind of. Uh, and wood. Uh, it's got a vintage little clasp there. Let me inspect that. No, I don't see any markings on it. Um, probably not, but kind of cool piece. Um, all right, let's get this out of here. Uh, this is just string. Let's put that right back in the jar. This is Dina's. Um, a couple little things in here worth looking at. see a couple of earring backs that look like they might be um, a precious metal. That one looks like it's 12 karat gold filled. It's just a weird earring. Oh, that looks like the mate to the other one. Actually, this one says 925 on it. That looks like a little tiny sterling um, bow. <laughs> yep, and that's about all that was in there. Yep. All right, what else? Another one of those stringy things. Um, those actually look like stone. They are stone. Um, beautiful faceted. I, I don't know what is happening here. I'll probably get rid of all of that. Um, and it does have some jump hoops there that I could very easily attach this to something else. But that looks like some sort of a stone. Nice. Uh, I was excited about this. This is uh, a Jelly Belly Cherry. It is Sarah Coventry. Um, and it's a true jelly belly. It has a full, uh, completely see-through. And I believe that's what a true jelly belly should look like. Or maybe it's just a belly of an animal if it's figural. I don't know. Um, <laughs> either way. I got that! That was in there. I'm excited. Um, uh, cute. Another little brooch. Uh, this is like a pair of earrings, a crystal, and some little holders. Um, like little, I don't know, how do I explain that? Oh, how cute! A little birdhouse with some birds. Oh, that's sweet. It's a brooch. Um, 
appears to be uh, porcelain. Nice. Oh, look good. Little Janda pandas. What does it say? Uh, Jim Benton. Jim Benton. I don't know who that is. There's a jingly earring in there. Um, pair of these little cheapy earrings. Uh, one of those. <laughs> This is very jingly. Cute. What's this? That's interesting. Um, oh, it's a whole thing. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird, I think. Or is that the movie? The whole thing? Oh, I don't know. Something like that. And these were in there. Um, that almost looks like it says something right on the end of this ear wire here. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at these a little further. These have actual, they have um, little stones set in there, like little cabochons. Uh, in blue and red. Uh, these look pretty old and dirty and tarnished. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check into these a little bit further. Uh, a couple of little pins which I collect. Uh, these are earrings. What earrings? As is. Oh, there's no backs. That's perfectly fine. I can throw some backs on there. Those are super, super cute. Oh, love them. Love those. That's icky and dirty. Ooh, what is it? Oh my goodness. Uh, this is possibly uh, Bakelite. Here, let's... Let's just check it real quick. Shoot. Since I got y'all here. Uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Cherry Amber Big Light. They're awfully dirty. No such luck. Okay, well. Nonetheless, they're awfully nice. Um, you know, I got some of that semi chrome on me. I'll have to wash my hands. This is awfully cute. Uh, I do like it. Oh, looks uh, maybe like Tibetan or something. type of a closure. We've got some little puka shells. <laughs> she said she's going to have a couple of more of these tomorrow. Um, then I should come back in the morning. And I will. Um, that's a sweet little brooch. I will go back in the morning. Probably not tonight because oh, those are cute. Cute little patriotic earrings with the rhinestones. Um, cute little pair. What's this one here? It's got a nice look to it. Probably nothing. <laughs> this one looks nice too. What does it say? Looks like it's gonna say something. Where's my loop loop? My loop loop? <laughs> Here, let me use these. Oh, that's not gonna work. 
Um, it does say something on there. Ooh, it says K. Um, hang on one second. Okay, I got my loop. It reads... I lied. It says 925. <laughs> 925. Well, I didn't lie. I just didn't see it properly. Ooh, that's a really neat looking guest watch. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. That's neat. Uh, I'm sure it's probably going to need a battery. Um, but that's a neat look. That's got a really pretty look to it. I love that face. Oh, speaking of watches, before I forget, this was um, there on the table and I picked it up. I could see on the back it said something about 10K. Um, with my naked eye, um, it's a Bisset, B-I-S-S-O-T, Bisset, Bisset, however you want to say it. And it has a star 10K uh, rolled gold plate bezel. Gosh darn it, stainless steel band. Oh, I didn't see the RGP. That's rolled gold plate. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, the rest of it is a uh, 12 karat gold filled band because it says so right there. Yeah, and on the back, I just saw that 10K there, if that's focused in for you. 10K. I didn't see the RGP. I didn't take my loop. Um, it said bezel and then stainless steel back. I should have known because the back would have probably been gold too if it was gold, if it had been gold. I should have thought about that. Um, that was something that was purchased a little bit separate than uh, that was purchased with all the other little things that I got there. Well, I've never seen that mark before. Have you guys? Do you know who that is? Whoosh. Huh. Although it does have a name on the other side, so I can tell you. It is classic hardware. Classic hardware. Um, there was a watch. Oh, this is a pair. Well, outstanding. Got a little pair of earrings out of there. Um, yeah, I'll go back tomorrow in the morning. Um, I mean, I don't want this kind of this type of stuff I'm not interested in. The watch is great. You know, there's a couple little things I could use, I'm sure. Um, little plastic rosary. Like, real plasticky, cheapy. This is a neat little heart. <laughs> it's just on a... These were things that, oh, $8. They put an 8 on there. Uh, and change their mind suddenly? I don't know. I mean, it, it had just opened. And, well, it opened at 9. And I went in at 9.05 by the time I made it in there. And everything was picked over. There was like, yeah. Hi, princess. She just jumped up here. Anyways, that's what I got. That was my haul. That's it. That's all. Hope you all had a ball. Have a beautiful and blessed day. That was my haul. Um, I'll see you guys Sunday. I'm going to get to my, finish my last package. And then I'm going to go see Eddie and scrap a few things. Um, oh, what's this? I see one little tiny, what appears to be a 14 karat gold ear back. And it is 10K because it says 10K on there. Little tiny ear back. Um, yeah, that's it. But I did find a couple of really great things there at that estate sale. And I will be bringing them all to you um, this Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So come on over and I'll see you there.
Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye-bye.